Hey, what is up guys? Taku does everything here and welcome back to a, well, not welcome back, welcome to, welcome to a new video. So this video is not a mapping or gaming video, so if you came here for that, um, I'm sorry, this is not a video for you, unless you're a LEGO Star Wars collector. Anyway, I've decided to do a new style of videos because I've kind of gotten bored of mapping and gaming. Don't worry, I'm not done yet, I hope. <laughs> but anyway, I'm not done with those yet. But um, since I'm a big Lego Star Wars collector, I thought I would do a few reviews on set, uh, set, uh, set, ugh, sorry, I can't talk today, sets. Because so many people have been doing them, and you know, they give you different opinions of like what to buy, and if you should buy it, or all that stuff. This, not really, considering that um, it's not really on shelves anymore, since you know, it was made 10 years ago, and I got it 10 years ago. But, um, yeah, but, it's, you know, it's still on Amazon, eBay, etc. Um, but anyway, I thought I would review it because it was my first ever LEGO Star Wars set. Frankly, I think it was my first LEGO set anyway. But anyway, um, yeah, I thought I would, you know, give my opinion on it and, you know, tell you if you, you should buy it if you have yet to get it. If you should, you know, spend the $100 on eBay for it. I'm, I'm just kidding. It's probably not like that, but... It's definitely not what it used to be, but in price or whatever. But anyway, um, you know, welcome to a new series that I've decided to start: Lego Star Wars reviews. Um, before I begin, I would like you to give me, you know, feedback on this video. Say you did this really good. I'm really happy. I'm really good that I'm really uh, proud of how you did it. Or you could tell me you did this good, but you should improve on this, or you should improve on this, and you should improve on all of it, or all that. But, um, yeah, so this is called the Anakin's Jedi Starfighter. Its set number is 7669, and it has 153 pieces, and it used to retail for $19, $20, $19.99, U.S. dollars. And pounds, uh, marks, and other forms of money will um, will be converted based on how your country's money system works. I probably might leave them down below if I can, like all of the price prices if I can that I um, have. But um, yeah, but it it won't matter considering that it, it isn't that much money anymore. But anyway, um. It, came, it comes with two minifigures, and let's get into it. Oh, one more thing. Its ages was 7 to 12 years old. So, um, yeah. So, anyway, let's begin. So, your first minifigure is Anakin Skywalker, Jedi Knight, or Padawan, or, or Youngling. Or, he was Youngling, Padawan, Knight, whatever. There he is. He has a blue lightsaber. I don't think that it came with this lightsaber hilt. I think it was like a, uh, like not a shiny one or whatever. But I gave it to him because why not? He has brown hair, his black uh, robe, and blue arms. And brown hair, like I said. He does not have double sided printing or a double sided head. Since I don't think that was. You know, a thing back in 2008. And he has no leg printing. Like I said, probably not a thing back in the day. Back 10 years ago. And also, they're going to make a new one in 2018 this year. So I hope to get that so I can do like a comparison of the two. And next minifigure, if I can get him off the base plate, since it's, you know, really old, is fan favorite. R2-D2. He has his nice shiny head. I do like that. And his printed underbody, I think it's called. His arms, or legs, or whatever it's called. And that's R2-D2. The Clone Wars 2008. When it first came out, I, th I think that's when it came out. But anyway, uh, before I begin, 
on the set. I want to tell you that this is probably not uh, 157, uh, 53 pieces. I think I said 57. I meant 153. 153 pieces. However, it's probably not that amount anymore. It's probably a little bit more. Because some stuff in the Clone Wars that I saw, because I've just begun watching it again. And I saw some differences that I would like to point out. Or not point out, but like things that I saw that I wanted to put in my Lego Starfighter. So anyways, let's get into the details of what I was talking about. So this is the Starfighter. Very flimsy and old. Its body makeup is very thin, so it probably will fall apart easily. One thing, the first thing is the flick fire missiles that they have, or that it has. Where blue, it was the same color as this piece. That's where, that's what those two things are. It was blue, but in the movie, or not in the movie, I keep saying the movie, in the uh, Clone Wars, the lasers, I'm pretty sure, were green, and the engines were blue, so I decided to make the flick fire missiles green and the engines blue. Because there were no engines in the actual Lego model. But, um, yeah, and my second change, or, well, third change in this case, is this place. This is for, uh, his Lego, um, lightsaber. Because on the original set, that's what the bottom looked like. And on mine, or on people that, you know, wanted him to have his lightsaber at all times, Put it right there, right there, right over here, wherever. I put it, like, everywhere on this thing, probably. And, um, yeah, so, anyway, let's get to the features. So the first feature is that these two side things, they can move. They move up. I think this is landing position. I'm not sure. And then, I'm pretty sure, no, I think this is flying. And then when it's landed, you flip them down, and it's in landing position. And it has its little feet that can be moved. I'm not going to move them because every time I seem to move them, I move them wrong and it takes me forever to figure out how I did it before. Sorry about that. Um, I'll move this one because this one, this, one, uh, this one moves the easiest. And it moves the easiest but it comes apart the easiest as well because like I said, this is a very old set so it's, it's, it's seen better days basically. And then it has the flick fire missiles on the bottom, like this. I'm not going to flick them, but I'm going to push them. And they don't they don't really work very well, especially because the set's really old. But um, yeah. So that's the undercarriage uh, features. So the first up top feature is the cockpit. You have to take the whole thing off. It doesn't flip up like this or like this, you just have to take it off completely. And so, like I said, the the bottom is going to fall off. Well, for me, it, it does. I might have to come up with some kind of alternate thing to do for that because I just really don't, I don't, really don't like that. So, you got to take Mr. Anakin Skywalker, take his lightsaber off. You got to sit him down like this and you take the starfighter and you just put him in like this and then you take the cap back on put it on and there he is flying in his starfighter it is good playability but you have to know where to hold it and you have to know that it's old you have to be careful with it which is not really fun whenever you're playing. You you always want to, you know, fly it around and have it damaged or whatever and crash. But it's it's probably not the best idea for this one. Anyway, let me just set it back down. Move the flick missiles. I'll put those back in later. And now on for onto R2-D2. So this ship isn't made exactly how it should be. Because R2-D2 is put in like this, but he should be put in like this, if you're catching my drift here. But to put him in the right way where he's facing the 
you know, where he's supposed to, you have to put him, uh, put him like this, where his head's facing the oncoming, you know, whatever. Or you could put it on this side, it doesn't really matter. And then you just put him in like this. And there he sits in there, and now, you know, they can get up and fly away. But that's not 100% the case. Especially because there's this right here. And what this does is if you push it, I'm going to have to hold it. You probably already know what, what, what it does, but I'm going to show you anyway. It, it basically does this. That was me. I shook it, but still, you you can you know, kind of see where it, what happens to it, like where it goes and all that. See, let me, let me try to do it do it again. There we go. That's basically what it does. It basically, if you push it in, it pops up. See, see, um, like this. You have to. For me, I have to. Hold it and push it, um, push it back in and pull it out because it doesn't really seem to hold like that. But um, anyway, that that's pretty much the Starfighter. So hope you all enjoyed watching this review, even though it probably is not the best. I know it ain't the best because um, I'm new at this and I don't really have very much experience with this. So. Um, yeah, just leave a comment down below if you want me to review another set, because I do have quite a ton, but certain ones I'll have to prob uh, probably say no on, because, um, unfortunately I don't have every single one, but, um, but ones that, you know, I get, and they're, you know, they're still around, or, you know, they're 